Did that final. Netherlands and Australia have something to say. I'm sure they will have a, a big say. Never beaten the Netherlands before. Wales lost to them in the past two occasions. But even I'll admit they're slightly better equipped. Now, but this is very stuttery at the beginning from both. Again, to forget for Danny Knopf, and it looks like Wales, Wales are going to cruise to, to the first leg here. This for the three leg lead and two breaks of throw. Kevin Price in cruise control, nowhere near the level of this. He still doesn't like the lie, does he? I don't think it's not. I don't think it's the lie. The lie is perfect. Just something bothered him there, but he makes it count. Yeah. First match, and he had a little stutter there. Whether he just caught Danny Knopf in his island as he went past, but Kevin yeah, Price is going to get another chance to win the match here. One match down has come and gone already. Knopf's hanging around here, similar to the previous leg. Double thirteen. And there's the celebration, and there's the victory. As good as that last leg was, he needs to find that sort of leg against the Johnny Clayton darts. Clayton knows no heroics needed against the throw. Oh, we're going to see one eight one bust again. Yeah, don't do a Jose de Souza. That was astonishing. <laughs> I felt for him as well because he was he was excellent in this World Cup, Jose. Johnny to fire back the eleven darts of his own. The celebrations just go up a notch in the World Cup, don't they? Here he goes again, he's done it twice, he's gone 180, 180 in leg two, he's got 180 in it, 180 in leg four. And we're going to see three 11 dancers on the spin. It's incredible. What a standard. Their rounds require 43. A measly 12 batter from Derek Van Dijvenbode. Johnny sets this up. But you'd expect another treble now. Yeah, over to the 16s. Well, that's clash from Clayton, you've got to say. And the start he made to the leg, he got better and better and better, hasn't he? Now then, he took out 1-5-3 to save the match against Dolan in the quarterfinals. 1-6-7. Dirk van Dijvenbogen. And it's not going to be in Johnny Clayton. Whether the storm well in his let me say storm, he just had a slow start. Well, it wasn't like a barrage of scoring from Dirk, but Dirk's not really finding it against the darts. And Johnny Clayton is edging closer. 16 darts on that occasion. For Dirk. Johnny can just lay up here. And Dirk can just see he was frustrated there. Is it going to be the end of the Dutch dream at the World Cup? Superb from Clayton. And he is going to return with three darts in hand to take Wales into yet another World Cup final. Dirk applies the pressure, he gives it a roar, but it's all about Johnny Clayton to wrap up the job. He does wrap up the job, Wales are into their fourth World Cup final. To get to a finish, 
take two trebles for the bully boy to join him. All three would be handy, though. And that's exactly what he produces. For a 170. The line was good, the weight of Dart not so much, and Michael Smith, one treble required. I don't think he was too convinced with the treble 20 because he wasn't all that excited about getting a double 16 dart. So if you want to go away, you can leave tops maybe, but here's an awkward double 15 attempt, and that for a final dart is a great marker. QED. Was the heat doesn't start winning in the single. Just so composed with every time at the double. Double ten is even better than tops for him. You just know it's going to happen. Dancing it against against Smith, who's against the throw here. Well, it could be another four-visit leg. Well, this break of throw would be a backbreaker. Set Smith up for the holding the throw to win. Oh, 15 or 19. Is he going to go 25 and ball? Well, no, he's not. I like that choice. Okay, it was a little bit of a risk, but that's a perfect finish required from the opponent. Well, these are the shots he's having to take out against Michael Smith because he's being heavily outgunned at the start of legs. Double top for 3-1. Break of throw. Perfect dart from the bully boy, Michael Smith. And Michael Smith has been referring to James Wade. She says significantly it was the not the fact that he hit a big single, but he bust as well. Bust the score. No need to go trouble 19 and bull. He can stay up there and the guide looks good. And it pays off. So now he can leave double 16. And we could be going all the way to a last leg decider. A last leg decider that Michael Smith will feel should never have come into existence. This should have been done. And is that niggling thought going to inhibit Michael Smith in the final knock-ins of this game? I didn't see this coming at all. So he really has an appetizing one when he comes back. He is set to get at least one dart for the match. Michael Smith on a Shanghai 120 finish, but will he be allowed a look at it? Damon Hatter, treble 18 for double 16, to steal this one away in the semi-finals of the World Cup. Can he rescue it? He can't. The mistakes from Smith earlier, a mistake there from Damon Hatter, and will he be punished? Just <laughs> unbelievable, Michael can't believe the luck, but he has to take the luck and he can't get a treble. Of all the people in the world that couldn't hit a treble with two darts, you wouldn't expect there would have been Michael Smith. Big deep breath from Damon Hatter. The Heat wants double four. Australia take the first point against all odds. We could look at the 19s here. Gets him down to a two darter. Is this too little, too late from James? Even if he gets the 57 to leave tops, which he does. It's a big opportunity for Simon. Big moment. Interesting. Double top. It works out. Simon Whitlock goes his own way for things. And it looks like he's going to produce one. Could produce perfectly. 
Oh, that Ooh. is magnificent, Simon Whitney. Yeah, defending his throw with Gusto. James Wade hasn't even been allowed a dart at a double so far in this one. Treble this visit before. Can he fill the treble this time? He's on the finish if he does. Perfect from Whitlock. And he'll get a look at the 164 to wrap it up. It was his highest ever singles average against Belgium in the quarters. Astonishingly, he's about eight points higher than that right now. And would soar even higher with this finish. It's a little bit of a let off because he will require one treble for the combo finish. He is yet to miss a dart at double. He's three out of three, the wizard. It has been magic. Match dart incoming. The target is double top. After watching all of that, can James Wade rally? Start with the 88. He's got the 60. Double 14. Double 7. 17. The final is but a step away for the Aussies. Just to go back to what I was saying about the, an inspiration for the Australians. Of course, it's only last August that top Australian dance star Kyle Anderson sadly passed away. And I know that Whitlock and Hetter are using that as a massive inspiration. To claim the World Cup here in Frankfurt. Well, he missed tops at the opening leg. Oh, and he's missed a single six in the second leg. But it's OK, double he's 18. Got double 18, 18 this time. I think it knocked him out of his rhythm. You could see, you could see, didn't you? He, he paused and stepped back. Yeah, he didn't realise he still had a good double. It's proven. Edu Benedu uses that same double. If, if he gets the crack. He had to make it 3-0. He certainly will get a chance now. Double 16. He's missed two top plus finishes in the first two legs. Not this time. Yeah, this time he didn't even get a chance for the double. Not happening for Price. Just not happening. It's all happening for Australia then. Johnny Clayton, of course, won the World Cup of Darts, didn't he? One, oh, fantastic! A one seven four to follow a one eighty. And when Clayton won the World Cup for Wales, every door opened. His career changed. Wouldn't be darts without some drama. Sixty. Australia requires sixteen. In less than ten minutes. Yeah. Damon Hatter yeah. and Australia have whitewashed yeah. Wales and Garen Price. Yeah, that's where Garen Price stumbled in the opening rubber of this one, when he'd been so deadly on him all the way through the tournament. And the ferry is going to have a look at this 106, and it's one that might have to go. And it's one that Gerwin Price missed. Hit the treble 20, and uh, went for a six, hit the 10, and it took him out of his rhythm. Johnny not entertaining a 10 or a six. 
And that is a clean one of six. Win for Johnny Clayton. Simon Whitlock threw everything out in that opening leg, but Clayton responds and gets well. Some leg from Johnny Clayton. Loads of options here. Go in the 18s for two tops. Can't produce it. And well, that's a, a wild one. Don't, don't chuck the last one away. But it, wow, that may be awkward. Going the wrong way. And will Simon regret chucking up that with all he may do, you know? I did this yesterday. Just a lack of focus at a key moment when they played Sweden, got away with it. He may go two more double tops here. He's done that on many occasions. So he never chucked that. Yeah, never chucked that away, Dan. He's brought this on himself. Such an experienced player, Simon Whitlock, to do this. Such a key moment. Clayton for two 0 Johnny Clayton spurns those chances, and Simon Whitlock gets an opportunity that he must have doubted would present itself. It's an opportunity missed for Johnny Clayton, Whitlock to get away with one. Yeah. Whitlock will take it. It's all one-way traffic in the opening round of 4-0, Damon Hetterby getting Price. This one a lot closer, as we expected. a bit of sloppy play, the mistake from the Wizard and a chance to open up a little bit of daylight here with Johnny Clayton. It's another ton plus checkout. Here we go the 18s and the problem is he's going to have to go 14 and bull now. What's he doing? I don't like this way at all. I don't like it and that is why. Go for treble 20, you hit a single 20, it's treble for double 19, you're giving yourself a better chance and a... Ultimately, it could cost him the leg now. Whitlock on double four and gets there eventually. Two legs apiece. It's on throw down, hasn't he? Because Simon will start with the 180 on the other two. Not much prolific here, but he's got out in front. But Johnny's managed to chase him down. But can he do it again here? It looks like a stressful game for Johnny Clayton. That will alleviate some of it, though. Beautiful setup shot for Simon Whitlock. Has got himself on a Shanghai finish. Might be worth him looking at treble 17, but double's a double. Johnny won't mind if he gets a go. He may not. Whitlock hasn't had a poke yet on the Johnny Clayton throw. It may be the case that he may only need one tops for the first break and a body blow. And Whitlock fires in the body blow. Got to control that aggression, aggression he's still got a job to do. In it, a weird angle, just keeps him in touch. It's Whitlock's to lose. The crowd is singing his name. Whitlock's closing in. He leaves himself on tops for the match. And he's delivered again. After the heartbreak of ten years ago when they came so close to the title. Whitlock losing both of his singles matches. He might be about to put another point on the board for the Aussies and go 2-0 up. Well saved for Whitlock. Just got a feather in. Going the wrong way, Johnny looks on and gets a reprieve. Still a big ask, but Johnny Clayton gets a chance to level up this match. Match that's missed from Simon Whitlock. Treble 18. One at the ball. And it was the ferret fist, not the ferret finger. And it is more opportunities for the wizard. He's already pinned double top a couple of times. Great guide. Even better. But that is six that he's missed. And on both occasions, Danny hasn't used the guide. The first one's been perfect. But are we going to a decider? Johnny Clayton, double eight, inside, some more match starts, coming for Simon Whitlock, surely this time, six missed, a double top, three more incoming. Come on, he says, the wizard trying to G himself up. And the Aussies go 2-0 up! 
10 years ago, getting so close. His passion for the game, his love for competing, has never, ever waned. And his, his work ethic, John, is magnificent. He loves it, absolutely. Plays all levels anytime he can. Well, that leaves Tox. Damon. Looking at the 60. This is for a hold of throat. Oh, what a 16. What a marker. That was splendid. Let me tell you. Needs to get below that. Yeah. I think it's really important now, Johnny. At least gets a dart for the double and has to hit it. Wow, that keeps him alive. Needs to go next door. It was a happy accident. Didn't make use of it. No, I, 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 I was thinking that. That was you could have made use of that. You could have really. He, yes, he, he aired there. They are taking every single opportunity. Proving to be the best player of this tournament. Yeah. The 162 in the last leg, a 180 in this. That was a man that averaged 80 about 20 minutes ago. And looked like he was having trouble staying it in up. Well, and to leave Simon at 127 in the kind of mood he's in, you've got to fancy his chances. Yeah. Back-to-back -back maxes for the Walsh. This is how you turn a match around. And if Simon hits this, this is how you turn a match around. 99. It's got a bit tense. For a level game. Legs away, the Australians. They seem to have just steadied the ship, or should I say the barrage of the Welsh hitting has just stalled a little. And they're going to have a much nicer number to look at. Damon had a 76 left. Not a little ton plus one, but... And what the Welsh are on, John, they're not concerned right now. Double eight. That's okay. It's not a disaster. Especially with the hot wizard waiting to clean it up. 100. Australia that little fist pump team. was for Simon Whitlock's benefit, let me assure you. Consider it attacked, consider it gone. Only. Wales require 125. Bullseye first. It's a happy accident again. 60. Bullseye has to go for it. 89. Happy accident again. Johnny's Australia getting pretty fortunate, that's, that's for sure. Well, unless this goes to end it. We've had a good leg here as well. The Australians, if they can repeat the scoring phase in the next leg, which he has gone to a decider, they'll be more than happy, John, won't they, to be sitting on 161 after nine? Bullseye, maybe. Mm, not sure about that one. 116 for the title. That's one way you could tell that that was for the title. But he's now <laughs> Just, got a composed, John, because yes, the 101 does. is not a gimme. He does. It might be for the title, but they don't lose the title by losing this leg. They need to rem remind 50. themselves of that. 
Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Compose and leave the double. Lee, try and leave a double. It was poor after that as well. Not good. 42 for tops. Simon's going to return for 66. 53. And for the second time in his career in the World Cup of Darts, Simon Whitlock should get darts to win it for Australia. Double 18. 48. 10 years apart. 10 years apart. Simon Whitlock has missed darts at a double for Australia to win the World Cup. Are they going to come again? No, they are not. Not in this time. That is now 2-1. This afternoon against Belgium. When it's matter tonight, he's got it right. Dug in against Michael Smith. Breeze past Gerwin Price, and he's doing a job on Johnny Clayton here. Maybe it's that. Averaging 101. Clayton 83. Averages count for nothing when you get this deep and it's this tight. 105. Australia requires. It just tells you he's playing well, Clayton isn't. Two zip. Australia. Edging closer again. A bit like set play, wasn't it? Yeah, I was literally thinking that then. We talk about it in the worlds. You get yourself so close, but Hatter with a 180 when he needed it most. And Damon Hatter, credit to him, he's not been, he wasn't at his best yesterday. He's worked his way into the tournament. He's got better and better as it's gone on, finding key shots. And this, put Australia on the brink again. 54 for double 16. Oh, listen to the click. Wales require 104. You heard it. Is Johnny going to go your favoured way, Wayne? Of course not. Double 16, big dart. Wrong side. Hetter got a 3 1 lead. So good. There was no drama about that, was there? 3 1. In a race to four. And if Sensible never going to go that way, yeah. Sorry. Never going to go that way. There was no need to actually go for the 11, but you know what Johnny's like? He likes to just get rid of the one, doesn't he? Yeah, we've seen it with 118 earlier. But to force Hetter to throw it out. Hear that wire again. Is Hetter going to get a pop? He is. Is this the moment? They've had one match that in the doubles. Surely minimum of one more here. Didn't see that. That was a big 20. This is their second dart to win the World Cup. Damon Hetter's first at it. 60. Literally came up short. Didn't even entertain the treble 20, did he? And those darts going so high, blocked the target. But Clayton. Looks edgy, double four to keep Wales alive yeah, and just Hatter. about hanging on in there. Wales. Damon Hatter has the darts though. Whitlock will be pacing in the back room. He doesn't want any part of that last match. No. And Hatter may deliver his wish. Yeah. Damon Hatter right on cue with maximum number two. And Johnny Clayton missed the trick with the last visit. Damon Hatter certainly didn't there. Is there more match darts incoming? There should be 59. from here. Averaging bang on a turn. This is a brilliant performance in what's the biggest match of his life. So good. Look at the action from Hatter. 140 or 180 is the only real pressure, and that that does nothing. Surely from here, Australia will become the World Cup champion. Six at 71 for Damon Hatter. He's just got to stand up and hit 32. And hit 32. 39. He'll be back, but that's four now. <laughs> and if Johnny can pop in a one four, well, a ten will just apply some pressure, won't it? Hetter to one compose two. himself for the title. Just keeping the same rhythm. That's what he's doing. I like this.
it's time to crown our winners. Receiving their gold medals, the magnificent trophy, and for the very first time in their career, they are crowned the Kazoo World Cup champions. Ladies and gentlemen, team!